Okay, I will show you how to prepare um, data um, captured by Total Station to Quantum GIS, and then we will make um, interpolation and uh, contour lines. So here is my a file from Total Station and it looks like this. There's a lot of columns and um, we will need only four of them. The one with the name of the point, and two with the coordinates and the third with, um, with the elevation. And um, those information as well as the, the other, the bottom of the file are not needed. and uh, I want to start from this point, which is uh, CM1, uh, and I will go down to CM1171, which is the last one I want. So those are all points I need. The rest of the file, you don't need that. So copy, go to uh, Microsoft Excel because we want to um, get rid of some columns okay and uh, this will copy and paste to uh, Microsoft Word and as you can s as you can see all the data is in uh, in a cone and we have to change a comma for space okay and then we have to change dot for comma okay now we have to get rid of this table so we will copy this and paste to note and again uh, copy and we go back to word first we have to delay the table and then paste all the values and now we have to change uh, tab so we'll go to more special and change it for one space and now we will change two spaces for one space okay and go at the beginning and we will write the name and y x and z copy go to note paste and we're gonna save this go to quantum GIS and now we will add this text uh, file so go to layer uh, add text layer and we have to find our one okay so check that uh, it is separated by a different sign and in my case it's space and also check this information that the first row contains names of the um, of, uh, of columns and you have to change that the x is y and y is x because it's inverted in a uh, total station and okay and as you can see the the scale is really weird so we go to properties to project properties and uh, we'll change the units of the map area for meters apply and okay 
so the chain scale is now normal. And we will save that layer as S3 shapefile and it will be S085 point. And add that file to the map. Okay, we can delete this one. And uh, now we will do the interpolation. You can do this through raster interpolation, but uh, I think it looks the the result is pretty bad. So I prefer the interpolation made by Saga. So go to Saga grid gridding, and I prefer natural neighbor. And uh, here's our layer and the attribute is z so the elevation and output extent will be use layer canvas extent and uh, this one so size will be one because i want it to look good although it will be much heavier and let's save a file as s085 natural neighbor and run Okay, so this is the result, it's grey and we will change the colors and properties for pseudo color and invert, classify and apply. Okay, so it looks pretty good and uh, now we will create the contour lines. So go to raster um geo processing and create uh, control lines this is our input file and here we will have the output file and it will be um, every two meters and um, okay So this is the result of um, uh, our um, control lines.